The Dragon Ball Games Twitter announced recently that there is going to be a pretty big update coming out in December. So let's talk about the things that we want to see in that update. What up, my name is this is Dr. Love, and this is going to be another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video. And it is like four, it's literally 4 30 on the dot in the morning. So if it sounds like I'm trying to be quiet, it's because I am. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Like what y'all want to see in the update, characters you want to see buffed or nerfed or anything like literally anything that you like the dp system all that these are my top five things that i think need need to be addressed in this update like need to be because it's getting ridiculous at this point number one i'm gonna say rage quitters the rage quitters are ridiculous like and honestly i like side note i would have edited the video more to where like you know it was just like a lot more edited but honestly i, I have very limited time to like do videos nowadays but i'm trying y'all so anyway the rage quitters bro I really hope, I'm gonna just say this too, I sincerely hope that the amount of rage quits that people have done from since the game came out until now get added into the update and then also apply to future rage quits because I'm so tired of fighting the same like five characters, there's almost 200 characters in this game and yet when you go on ranked you fight the same like five, it's ridiculous and then when they don't win with those characters they rage quit, I put up a tweet uh yesterday now that literally showed someone was about to win the match and they they rage quit so much that even though they were about to win the match they disconnected at the last second like that is do you know how much you have to rage quit to do that and it's not just them it's like every other match i do in this game the people rage quit and you don't gain any points for them rage quitting and you don't they don't lose any points or their rank or nothing it just it's like the match just never happened and there's a lot of games that have done it in certain ways where like if someone rage quits um then it you because like for example dragon ball legends right it's the mobile game if someone rage quits in that game you just continue to fight the computer and then if you win you win if you don't then you're just trash and there's other games that have had it to where it's like you know you um like it'll just say that the match was done but then you get your points and it shows that whole system and it does all that stuff so i just really hope that they add something like that soon in this update specifically actually because they did also tweet out uh not too long ago maybe like a week or so ago that um they actually are gonna have it to where people that rage quit like a lot you're gonna be suspended indefinitely from playing on ranked but they never specified like how many rage quits or anything but I'm assuming it's a lot because, like I said, almost every single time I hop in this game, someone rage quits, and it's honestly ridiculous. Like I've I've played so many fighting games in my day, the casual and competitive, Smash Bros, um, Nick All Star Battle Royale, Street Fighter, Tekken, Marvel vs. Capcom, you know, like uh, King of Fighters, all these different fighting games, and never ever have I ever ran into this many consistent rage quitters. In a single fighting game like ever even in the previous dragon ball ones like raging blast fighters xenoverse none of them it is ridiculous all right now to the second point um they need to bring back key sickness from the budokai senkaichi games i don't remember off the top of my head if raging blast had key sickness if they if they did it wasn't like as um noticeable i guess but they need to bring that back in this game because i think that that's what's really the lack of key sickness in sparking zero is the reason why so many people are getting away with just spamming instant spark or after image strike or whatever and then they can just do it over and over and over and over and over again and then spam that's pretty much the reason why because with key sickness if you do after image strike or if you do like a um some move that gives you a bunch of buffs or instant spark or whatever after that's done the, like the move has worn off now you know you have all these debuffs that are added on to you and one of the main ones is that your key charges way slower you know you typically wouldn't have like the the skill points to just instant spark or whatever again so you know you got to use it more wisely instead of just you know oh i got the key point or the key points the skill points spam 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 i really think they need to address that asap because it's just not fun to fight against and to be honest if you do that all the time in the game like I'm, a, I'm actually, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to just, you you know what it is. But anyway, speaking of spam, um, I think they need to adjust the DP system. This is my third thing that I'm going to say. Um, the DP system in this game, it ain't it. They need to adjust, adjust it ASAP because 
they, like, okay, so you guys know what the meta is in this game right now, right? You know, you choose Videl, uh, some people choose Kid GT Goku, base form. You got Dr. Wheelo, Dr. Jiro, Android 19, uh, who, uh, Bardock, who else is, uh, Trunks, Sword Trunks is pretty meta right now, too. Um, it's just crazy, Hercule, freaking Hercule's meta. It's crazy because they nerfed Yajirobe so quick. And there's all these other characters that are meta and are arguably a lot more annoying than he was, in my personal opinion, that haven't been touched. Uh, hopefully they all, you know, get dealt with within this update. But I just think it's kind of insane how you can make some of these teams. Like, why does Dr. Dude, Dr. Wheelo only costs like three or four DP points or DP points, DP, DP, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It only he only costs um, like three or four DP. That is ridiculous. How are you gonna give giants unblockable? Um, I don't know if it's like a smash attack or what it is, but they have this one. All of them have this one move that's unblockable that you can spam. How are you gonna give that to to giants and then make them cost like like pocket change in terms of DP? That doesn't make any sense to me. I think all the giants because of if they're gonna keep that in the game, even if they don't, I think giants because of the nature of them just being giants like. They should cost at least eight or nine DP, in my personal opinion, because that, that's just insane. Like, there's no reason why Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta costs 10 DP, and then you got Dr. Wheelo that can just spam, do a spam move over and over and over and over against you because he's giant, and because he's giant, like, hitbox and all that stuff gets wonky, and he only costs like three or four. Like, that's just weird to me. And then, you know, characters like Hercule are spammable. After Image Strike, if they listen, if they add all these changes in this update, it's over for a lot of y'all. It is over for a lot of y'all. That's all I'm gonna say with that. But the next thing that I actually really want them to adjust, um, even though I don't have as much of a, of a problem with this as a lot of other people do, I do want to see it adjusted. It's the Vanish Wars, right? I did not realize how little key it takes to keep up with a Vanish War. Like, every time you vanish, it only takes, like, one-fourth or, like, one-third of a key bar. Which is absolutely insane to me, especially considering the speed of the Vanish Wars. I think that they need to adjust it to where every time you vanish, it takes a bar of key. They don't need to speed it up. If they do, I'm perfectly fine with that. But I think that if they really do make it to where every time you vanish, it takes one bar of key, that alone would make it just feel a lot more fast paced because you're not spending 80 years doing the vanish battle and it would make you you know a lot more aware of the resources that you're using even though you do gain um skill points slowly by doing it it's like is it really worth using all that key you know i just think there's a few things that they could do with that but personally that's just like my main suggestion let me know what y'all think about that but i'm i'm just saying like the more you do matches, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get kind of tired of these Vanish Wars, you know, and it, they were worse. They were a lot worse in Raging Blast 2. I don't remember how fast they were in Raging Blast 1, but in Raging Blast 2, they were pretty slow. I'll still take the ones in this game over that, but it's at least got to take more key, because the, the fact that it takes, like, very, very little, like, like one-fourth or one-third of, of one bar, you know how little key that is? It's insane. Anyway, the last thing that I need them to adjust, like ASAP, which I kind of touched up on this, is unblockables. I know there were unblockables in BT3. I don't know if there were unblockables in Raging Blast 1 and 2. To be honest, I, I never actually tested that, like what moves were blockable and unblockable. But for ultimate attacks, some of them, if they adjust the other stuff like key sickness and all that, it won't make these so bad because you won't see them as much during each batch. But for stuff like the Giants, like I said before, I just, why do all of them have that one smash attack that's just unblockable? Like, it's fast, it has a huge hitbox, and it's unblockable. Like, if it was at least, if they could spam it, but it was at least blockable, that'd be like, whatever, because you can just, you know, do, a, like, perception or something like that. But it, they just, I don't know what they were thinking with that. It was a weird decision. Um... I just, I don't know, they gotta do something about those. If they make moves blockable, cause there's some attacks where it's like, I get why that's unblockable, but then there's others where it's like, okay, like you, so I can block like a final flash, but I can't, I don't even know if that's blockable or not, but like just as an example, it's like I can block a, fi a final flash, but I can't block Father Son Kamehameha, or I can't block like uh, whatever Z Trunks' 
sword blast whatever that move is called i don't even know what it's called but it just doesn't make sense to me it's too inconsistent and you either make them all unblockable or you make none blockable unblockable or you just the ones that are unblockable make it make sense because i think that some moves that are not blockable it's just like dude are you kidding me like what, what, what even even a move that's not an ultimate attack um what's his face hercule like the one where he gives you the present like it's a rush where he's rushing towards you why is it not blockable and it's super fast and it's spammable because it doesn't take that much heat i think if they do all these things the quality of the gameplay will improve a lot we won't run into the same people the meta will most likely change well no not even most likely the meta will change i promise you the meta will change and you just won't run into as many rage quitters and it'll make ranked at the very least a lot more enjoyable anyway those are my suggestions let me know what y'all think in the comment section below about this thank y'all for watching the video i'm gonna catch y'all next time and yeah